If you're wondering how to set up your email account on your iPhone, you've come to the right place. Adding a new account to the iPhone has changed in iOS 11, so let me walk you through the steps. On your phone, open the Settings app and scroll down until you see Accounts and Passwords. Select Add Account. You are presented with seven account setup options. iCloud, Exchange, Google, Yahoo, AOL, Outlook, and other. Once you've selected the proper account and entered the correct email address and password, your account is ready to use. You'll want to access it on the Mail app. Go ahead and locate the app on your phone. By default, it should be in the dock on your home screen. Based on the type of account, you'll see different folders that you have the ability to explore such as Inbox, Drafts, Sent, Junk, Trash, and any specific folders to the account. Next, let's take a look at the Mail Settings page. To locate it, select Settings, scroll down, and choose Mail. First, scroll down to the bottom of the page and select Default Account. This is important if you have more than one mail account because when selecting New Mail in the Mail app, this is the account that will automatically be chosen to send the email out from. The second important mail setting is choosing how your email is delivered to you. From the main settings page, scroll down to accounts and passwords. Next, select fetch new data. You'll want to change these settings to make sure you receive your email in the way that works best for you. This page allows you to control how email gets downloaded to your phone and how often your phone checks for new mail. You are presented with three options, push, Accounts List, and Fetch. Push Mail. When turned on, Push automatically downloads, or pushes, all email from your account to your phone as soon as they're received to the server. The alternative is that emails are only downloaded when you check your mail. The downside to this method is that it drains your battery faster. Accounts. A list of each account configured on your device lets you choose to either fetch email automatically or only download mail when you manually check it. Tap each account and then tap Fetch or Manual. Fetch. This is more like the traditional way of checking email. It checks your email every 15, 30, or 60 minutes and downloads any messages that have arrived since you last checked. You can also set it to check manually. This is used if push is disabled. The less often you check email, the more battery you'll save. There are a number of other basic settings in the mail section of the settings app. They let you control the following. Preview controls the number of lines of text from the email shown in the inbox. Options range from none to five lines. Show to slash CC label. Slide this to on to show who an email is addressed to and who is CC'd. Swipe options. Control what happens when you swipe left or right across an email in the inbox view. Tap swipe left and choose from none, mark as read, flag, or move message to a new folder. Tap swipe right and choose from the same options plus archive. Flag style. Choose whether emails that you've flagged for follow-up display a dot of color next to them or a flag icon. Ask before deleting. Get a warning before mail deletes an email. Load remote images. Slide this to on slash green to load images and emails. Images can be turned off to save data. Organize by thread. 
slide this to on slash green to group together related messages that are part of a conversation. Always BCC myself. Slide this to on slash green to always send yourself a copy of all emails you send from your phone. Mark addresses. Tap this and enter an email domain name, for example, gmail.com or your work email address. With that set, any email address that doesn't use that domain is highlighted in red. This is especially helpful to make sure you're not sending work email from a personal account or accidentally sending an email to the wrong address. Increase quote level. When you respond to a message or forward it, having this setting turned on slash green adds indentation to the original email to make sure it's easier to read. Signature. Choose what message appears at the bottom of all emails sent from your phone. Thanks for watching the Computer Convenience YouTube channel. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe down below.